This emergency department in rural southwestern Ontario tops the list with the highest number of hours closed this year. You'd love to be number one, but not in this contest. That department is part of a CBC News analysis. It found ERs and urgent care centres across Ontario were closed for more hours in 2024 than in any of the previous three years. That's because more ERs permanently reduced their hours, mostly in rural areas. The Chesley Hospital's emergency is one of those. Now it only operates between 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. It's closed on weekends. Seniors in Chesley recently voiced concerns at a public meeting. This resident had a mild heart attack when the ER was closed. He had to wait for an ambulance and travel to another hospital. Uh, if I'd had a serious heart attack, uh, you wouldn't be interviewing me right now. Yeah, my biggest concern is people will just delay and then when they do, when they do finally go, uh, it's a more serious condition. I have the fear of something happening during the night when our ER is not open. Most closures are due to a shortage of nurses. The Ontario government has pledged to train more nurses and provide fill-in doctors in remote and rural communities. The health minister was asked this morning about the high number of scheduled closures. Yes, it was concerning us. Uh, yes, we continue to work with our hospital partners through Ontario Health to make sure that they have uh, sufficient uh, staff. Ontario isn't alone. ER closures are a problem from Nova Scotia to British Columbia. It certainly appears that the situation is worsening across the country. Doctors, nurses and advocates worry lives are at risk unless there are system-wide solutions. Julie Ireton, CBC News, Ottawa.